One of the biggest challenges with Gen AI compared to other technologies, particularly software related technologies, is the capital costs are so much more significant. And that puts the larger companies at a big advantage. Uh, just the ability to be able to do training and to then have cloud-based services, which allow for uh, both the training and the inference, certainly gives the bigger companies a bigger advantage than historically they would have had in a software-related business. So uh, what's different about Gen AI is it's, it's really a combination of hardware and software. It's not just a software business. And so the problem for the startups is how do they compensate for uh, the advantages that a, uh, Microsoft is going to have or even OpenAI has because of all the capital they've been able to raise, uh, as well as Google uh, and, and all of the big companies who are building out models in this space. Now, I think um, it's certainly possible that some of the smaller companies like the Anthropics of the world are, are going to be able to rely on companies like, my, like Amazon, let's say, to actually help them build their capabilities and to build, build out a, an alternative to open AI, which is very important. Um, but the, the, the challenge right now, again, if I'm looking forward and saying, what am I going to need in order to get to a level of capabilities that will make me competitive with Google, OpenAI, and a couple of the other big players, uh, let's say Llama and, and uh, Meta, um, you need to raise an enormous amount of capital.